safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. It was time to choose, a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. That was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. Where is he? I didn't want to fuck this up more than I already had. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. I had to move quick, or Bronco's next charitable donation would be to the worms. 
Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. was on the wall to the left of the gate. being famous as well as rich as the bad guys know who to kidnap. They weren't waiting on my say-so. I had to move. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Rodrigo was in the van. Maybe it was time to let him out. Falando com meus homens assim. Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ai, me ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Vamos. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Uh, different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on.
Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. So I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. But it is a cool <laughs> town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> I love this view. Real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fashion week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs>
Sao Paulo's favorite bodyguard. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Son of a bitch. Ah! Ah! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Another delay I didn't need. This wasn't looking good. I'd almost lost the boss's wife once this week. Now I was giving them two for the price of one.
Don't shoot, por favor. You an American? Sure. Yeah, I'm from Steele, North Dakota, just outside of business. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. Much as I like to indulge, it looked loud and expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Ele não tem nada a ver com isso. Oi, daí, mano. Eu tô pouco nesse. Ah! Pega você, caralho! Vou te. Vai rolar o bico! This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I 
I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max! I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Hey, Ivana, Ivana!
Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did.